Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotion. I hope everybody's alright this morning. Let's see. On our prayer request, Lena will be having surgery to remove a lump on her breast. Pray all goes well. YC Green has an unspoken request. Kathy Daly's brother is in the hospital with heart problems. Pray he'll be okay. Joy's friend Becky is out of the hospital but is not doing good. Pray she'll get better. Our daughter Jackie's doing better. She's not 100% yet but will be soon. Thanks for all the prayers, everyone. Pray for Crystal Lane and her family. They are sick and they all have uh, COVID. Their test came back positive. Uh, April's dad passed away. Pray for comfort for her and the family. Beth asked for prayer for their first responders and firefighters where she lives. They're having high winds and wildfire spreading. Pray also that they won't be uh, evacuated. YC asked for prayer that everyone stays safe in the ice, snow, and power outages. Also that scientists find out why they're having quakes in South Carolina. Pray for Jamie. He's really sick. He had to go to the ER. And Kim's friend's parents have COVID. Pray they'll be okay. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from Isaiah 53, 1 through 6. Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out to dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. All right, our devotion today is entitled, Love's Greatest Gift. My son Jeff was leaving a store when he saw an abandoned walking frame, a mobility aid, on the ground. I hope there isn't a person back there who needs help, he thought. He glanced behind the building and found a homeless man unconscious on the pavement. Jeff roused him and asked if he was okay. I'm trying to drink myself to death, he responded. My tent broke in a storm and I lost everything. I don't want to live. Jeff called a Christian rehabilitation ministry and while they waited for help, he ran home briefly and brought the man his own camping tent. What's your name, Jeff asked. Jeffrey, the homeless man answered, with a G. Jeff hadn't mentioned his own name or its uncommon spelling. Dad, he told me later, that could have been me. Jeff once struggled with substance abuse himself, and he helped the man because of his kindness he'd received from God. Isaiah the prophet used these words to anticipate God's mercy to us in Jesus. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Christ our Savior didn't leave us lost, alone, and hopeless in despair. He chose to identify with us and list, lift us in love so that we might be set free to live anew in Him. There's no greater gift. Where would you be without Jesus? How can you be His hands and feet for someone in need? Thank you, Jesus, for coming to rescue me. Help me to join in our search and rescue mission and share your love with someone who needs you today. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs 
and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. Have a great morning. I'll see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.